to say you need more time. Yeah, I mean, it's just like with areas, one thing I think um, for like a general uh, comment about the areas, I'm trying to develop basically a list of like six or seven, not that those would all go into one resolution, um, yeah. that we work with or that we could work with Russia or China that have kind of like a co-op key warrant. Um, so I do have like four pretty good ones, some that we've already discussed, some that we've already been vetted. So it's like arms control, space organization, um, space situational awareness, so exchange of space situational awareness information. Um, the other two that I'm working on is uh, we've got active debris removal, uh, and then I'm working on an energy one. So what? what? If you still need time, then or do we have a doc? Oh no, I guess uh, yeah. This isn't a doc. I'm just telling people what I have now. And then if you, these, my my question slash inquiry to the group is like, you can send me a one line email. It's like, hey, I think this has a good international club warrant. Maybe it's worth vetting a term on it, right? Okay. That's just the like. So if you had something in the back of your mind, like I think it's super important that we talk about, um, you know, helium three mining on the moon. Nope. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um, but it, yeah, that's why it's not on my list. Well, one but, thing you yeah. didn't say is like exploration. No, not as a general. Yeah. yeah, like deep space exploration or something like that. We could add it. I'm not sure there's a great co-op key warrant, um, but yeah, I can look into that as an area. So, but I have an energy one. Um, yeah. So I'm just sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah. Will you run through that list? Yeah, that's okay. So we got space weapons, debris removal, space situational awareness, um, energy, which might just be space-based solar power, because now there's a ton of other energies out there, um, and then. Uh, those are the four I've got that are like decent and good right now. Um, yeah. But there are others, obviously. There's a bunch of them. So we get co op key. What's that? Planetary defense. Planetary defense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the phrase they use for asteroids. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <coughs> the steward article. Yeah, the asteroid defense stuff. Okay, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, Defense. Any others that are like areas for international co op team central? All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And you're working on that? Yes, yeah. Um, are you all ready to revise? And DCH. Most of them. Okay. Michaela, Jackie, you need more time? I mean, I would love a lot more time. I think Michaela doesn't like barriers. And there's there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, I kind of came across not too long ago a regulatory requirements uh, kind of definition, and I'll send that along. That is at least regulatory requirements is distinct from trade barriers, so things like tariffs. So that answers Miles' concern uh, in that regard. Um, I think where did this document go? I just sent it out, but I closed the document. Of course, I did. So statutory and regulatory requirements are legal requirements uh, that are required by, so like statutory requirements are obviously required by law. These requirements are non-negotiable and must be complied with. Statutory refers to laws. Uh, regulatory requirements are administrative legislation that constitutes constraints. And then I included the distinct from tariffs, but they're like restrictions, licenses, and laws that are applicable to products or businesses imposed by the government. So, I don't know. That's the preliminary phase of that, but that might be an avenue worth exploring. Okay. Will people just kind of open up the document that was sent out, Natalie and I sent out, about the um, <coughs> Governance wording six one version two. So 
the definitions of global space governance come from the conference on global space governance. And then that chapter and that list is from the thesis on global space governance, where it just has a list of all of the stuff. And then there are hits for just the phrase on global space governance. Now we did find like the one card is the first one's like the area of global space governance. I was a little concerned that I, I'm just not sure that it's, I don't know, um, it's not area. It does raise the question of that beginning thing, like the United States federal government should revise, but what are the concerns with the way we've written option one there? And there's some more cards down below. I guess my one question about this is the the way the UN defines it. And defines global space governance. Yes. Um, so the UN 15 card mm -hmm. um, that it's an institutional framework. Uh, I guess if I was negative um, and I was going to advance a strong topicality argument, I might be like the app does a number of things that are related to um, discussions of governance, but is not a global space governance. Um, program, policy, what have you, because it doesn't um, do an institutional framework for the government's international cooperation. What, what just, what's the thought on that? Like, is that important? How do we establish a framework? Um, I mean, it doesn't like it's an overriding framework. What's the app's um, relationship to global space governance in that sense? That's why it's global, right? Because it's like it covers everything. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of putting in the three phrases that we've liked. And I'll let, now I talk about quad. So national space policy, insert digger stuff. Like that's the part where it allows the app to kind of be any any overarching thing, yeah. large change. The international co-op. I don't think we need like those cards are pretty good. Like defines how you don't have to say space there. It just has to be cooperation between them. But it has to be a under the in the area or on that larger guideline. And that says. Global space government serves to the international action or process of regulating space affairs or activities, the mechanisms and processes, the formulations for monitoring enforcement, and then it lists them. It's like, they can be treaties, agreements, regulations, laws, standards, procedures. So like, I feel like you pick one of the yeah. things okay. that it could be, but yeah. that one card lists them, and then there are other cards in Adrian Danielle set from the McNeely, and then the two UN meetings are like, here's a list of all okay, of the different yeah. ways. Cool, that's what I was thinking. It's, it seems like with the international co op stuff, when people talk about global space governance, they're like, in order to cooperate on the global space governance, we're going to be doing one of these things. Which yeah. Is like, yeah, okay. What I just want to make sure that your reading corroborate that. Yeah. So, my reading do does not necessarily, and I'm not loving the global governance stuff after reading more into the app, because even the card that you just pointed to, which is one of the recent ones we've cut. So I haven't compared it to the other three, three or four files we have on governance of. There might be some inconsistencies there. But it seems like that card says the global governance of international cooperation, in which case global governance is that kind of operating term. And so the resolution would say something like, would strengthen its global governance of international cooperation in the areas of whatever. Which we haven't even thought about, and I am uncertain that I want to wade into. But that's kind of my issue with how we phrase these is that there isn't an, a natural or inherent relationship between cooperation and global governance in the way that we've, we've offered, given what the literature suggests. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And so Just if like as a play with governance of international cooperation, that makes more sense with what's out there. But then we'd have to think about another version. Yeah, yeah. What is Which one do you say says UN, governance UN 15. Yeah. What's the tag? I think one There's a framework. It's the last yeah, card right before on. An institutional framework. Yeah. And so in what's called the robust the, For the governance of yeah. the governance of international cooperation in outer space mm -hmm. and using our decisions. Yeah. What the, so 
My question is, what does governance do that national space policy doesn't do? Like, what what does governance limit out then? So national space policy is literally just when Eisenhower was president, he yeah. said, like, here's our thing. And then since then, each president, like we have a nuclear policy, has a national space policy. So it's the official policy of space as per the president. Da, 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 da. Global governance, if you look back, we've got three files that I think are probably the best set of, like, action area items we have on the topic. It's like... Global space governments are all of these sets of laws that determine the norms, legal, soft, and all the different ways we come to agreements about what happens when it relates to space. Um, and it's broad, but it is very clean. Um, the UN met in 2016 and defined it. The McNeely Group, which is, you know. So NSP would just be in that resolution just for like the got to be can't be yeah. agency action. Yeah, I see it as three sort of semi-redundant things, and Natalie is correct. Yeah. There is no hit for international cooperation on global space governance. Or over or with or any other. Yeah, there is yeah. international space cooperation hits. There are global space governance hits, and there are national space. But it, it's got to be a big policy. Because it just seems like we're adding words to make incremental steps towards restricting whatever the topic which is. Which I'm okay with. But, like which is, over, might be what we have to overlapping, do. Overlapping, yeah, 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 kind of like yeah, back Just lots of redundancy. Yeah, the redundancy is better than not. Yeah, to answer, yeah, to answer your, I don't think anyone is suggesting there's tension between national space policy yeah. and global governance, but between international co-op and global governance. Well, not tension. Or not, yeah, maybe not tension, but that's how we need to be careful about putting this in a relationship with one another as phrases or terms. I have a question about option number one. Yeah. Under resolution options. <coughs> My question is solvency advocates that reference global space governance as it applies to with the following countries. In other words, the people who are talking about global space governance. For example, when I'm reading the UN workshop on space 16 definition from Herndon 2 document, mm -hmm. it lists model national laws and regulations. Mm -hmm. How would something like that work with another country? Like, what, what's the, what's the plan doing? What's the solvency advocate talking about? I can, I understand global space governance more with activities than I do with nations. It seems oddly placed with a nation. I was really worried about that too. If you read the executive summary that yeah. Adrian posted, it seems it's more like a country implementing an already agreed upon obligation. So it's putting in statute. An obligation under the Outer Space Treaty, and then other countries can look at that. So it's domestic implementation of agreed upon burdens. Just to just so I'm clear, I understand that country would be the USFG. Yeah. Okay. So we would put. Yeah. I guess that's so. That's I guess what I'm wondering then is the latter part of the resolution that says with one or more countries, like yeah. if it's global space governance, and part of that is the U.S. creates the law that then becomes the building block. That whole executive summary part. What does the with another country do? Like it seems to be a weird limitation on the back end of the resolution. Like I thought global space governments was a good limit, and I'm then going to do that with China or like with. It just seems odd to have yeah. the list of countries on the back end since global space governance is meant to be international. Am I missing? That would be a reason. Well, I understand why we would want, I'm, I'm saying, are there solvency advocates who say we should do global space governments with China? Or, like it seems like the examples of global space governance are things that a country does. Well, one of the global space governments categories is like a confidence building measure. So yeah, sure, I got that one. But there's, yeah. that's my point is that are we turning global space governance from a list of six things down to two because we've now added a country list? And should we recognize the way that the country list then limits what we mean by global space governance? I get, yeah, transparency and confidence building measures, yes. Codes of conduct, rules on the road, yes. Technical standards and procedures, is that, it doesn't that just become one of the next two if it's with a country as opposed to, like I'm just trying to figure out the solvency story of this, if it's limited to countries. The reason why I originally liked this and was pursuing this was this wasn't gonna be a country list resolution. Mm -hmm. um, now that we're making it a country list resolution, what does global space governance get us? Mm -hmm. It's just another version of international space co with one of the following countries. Yes. I do think we should probably find some people who advocate doing cooperation with particular countries, but there is still the argument that the, the global space governance has to be 
with the intent of being global in scale. So yeah. what you're doing, yes, you have to do it with China, but it's not just like a bilateral co-op thing. Okay, cool. Because there was that original yeah. definition that said the intent was to scale right. up whatever it was you were doing. Yeah, like the one half I can think of is the Russia and China have done the PWWT, right? The sort of their banned space mill. And so you could do global space governance with them on that. That one sort of makes sense because you would basically have to corral them into making modifications to what we're all going to promote. Um, I just think that the country list might make G, and maybe that's what is wanted, but makes global space governance much more limited than what our definitions of global space governance are talking about. Major, just to make sure I understand correctly, so like a tropical app would be US and China should maybe do SSA for the purpose of developing a global framework for that. Map up would be just kind of one off do it exchange to resolve those kind of things. I think that's an argument yeah. okay. based on a couple of the cards that say okay. the intent of governance. I think there's a debate to be had about whether or not but I think that is a way that you could say it's not just a weird bilateral thing. Okay. Yeah, because if we put the list of countries, like here, I'll just pull uh, out a plan. Yeah, yeah. If, the, if the U.S. were to propose a interpretation of the Outer Space Treaty mm -hmm. as it relates to anything that we think was listed under GSG, yeah, would it not? Would it be extra topical because that proposal went beyond the the country list? Say that yeah, sure. If the, if, without the country list, it seems very topical for the U.S. to propose a global interpretation of the Outer Space Treaty as it relates to asteroid mining or to you know any of the stuff that we're reading solvency on. Yeah. A country list would make that extra topical because now you're doing it to more than just that country. You've proposed an interpretation of the treaty. That's, what, that, that, that's the part that's confusing. Well, that's why I think that beginning part that says like you can do an, like you can have an NSP. Yeah. You can do a brand new na national, it, he, and so that's why I got rid of sort of like the option one, where it doesn't use the at least including phrase. So it can be a very oh, broad. Well, I may be, this may be where I screwed up. I may be reading the wrong thing. The option one countries list I'm looking at says the USFG should revise its NSP at least including an offer to substantially increase yes. its international cooperation on global <coughs> space governance with one or more of the following countries. But the proposal to in the UN to, we should understand the Outer Space Treaty to mean this would not, would be extra topical because it's more than just one country that you're, like what's the offer to a country? It is global space governance, but so it's I, So not. for example, if I want to do that, I, I might, that app might say, um, join, join that treaty and offer to include China by getting rid of the blank amendment. That would that would be T as long as you can win that getting rid of the amendment is a version of global space governance. Cool. It's our national space policy. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm definitely on on my my comment on the table. Then is I'm interested in seeing some solvency cards that talk that, that talk about that. Okay. Because I've read the solvency cards that don't specify the countries. Okay. But I'm not. I haven't seen the solvency cards yet that specify the countries. Other than that one. Okay. Work with Russia and China. You, on so, there. if if that resolution ended at the word governance, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Or or the second option, the areas potentially limit the areas. Yeah, I'm just a little worried about, about the country list makes a bunch of shit extra topical. I think during when food happens or something, yeah. we should go through the executive summary. There are multiple charts that talk about various particular laws and tech, like the similar to Wolf and things like that that are things that would be steps in the direction of global governance cool. that are but they're it was not possible to produce them in a card because yeah, yeah, no, that's I'll read the I'm going to read the executive summary throughout the summary that I've yeah. I, I, I feel like my gut is that those would be that there are kind of <coughs> particular options but yeah yeah I have run in some stuff that says you should work with Russia and China and get their stuff together and then make the pitch internationally but I guess I have kind of the same concern about just T. I know it's not elegant to have at least there twice, um, but if you had at least, including an offer substantially increased international cooperation global space governments with at least one or more of the following countries, it ensures you work with China, Russia, whoever's there, 
but also allows you to work with a more expansive group. In. And that's, I guess my worry is in the absence of saying that, if you just marked it at governance, I mean, in a lot of these four, it's like the US and the EU have kind of their own approach, Russia and China have theirs. I just, I guess I keep coming back to the concern about just like the US and the US, because it seems well, like- The, the easier answer. way to fix that would be to just put on global space governance after national space policy, and then, so, sorry if you can follow this. The United States federal government should revise its national space policy mm -hmm. on global space government governance, at least including offer to substantially increase its international space cooperation with one or more of the following. Do we have an NSP on global space governance now? No, I think because we revise to. NSP on global space governance would mean revising a thing that I'm not sure exists. Yeah, we're, we're working on the verb for NSP. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be that, but that's a very good point, Chris. Car for the worse, I don't know about revise or NSP. Is NSP yeah. on global space governance is a phrase is concerning to me. I agree. My concern is I'm going the executive summary now. They're each either each of them has a chart on proposed actions, okay. potential actions. So the solvency advocates question mark and yeah. then revise that encompass your concerns. Was it a separate stuff? Mine is just how to limit out friendly multilateral organizations across like global state governance of the EU, you know, support like code of conduct with them. I don't think it'd be very controversial, but okay. you know, it might be that that right? yeah. so So basically just either a country list that limits it you know, and make sure that it's kind of, you know, Russia and China or, you know, something that just at least could help solve that part. Of it. But I feel like the U.S. is maybe the theory. Okay. Um, and Miles. I'm sorry, what is the problem with the EU Act? Just. We spent all this time yesterday saying right. we didn't want the co op with the Allies Act because there's no, like, it's not controversial. Like the allies, meaning EU, Japan, we do a bunch of it, we're going to keep doing it. There's not a DA. Yeah, I see a bunch I mean, It seems to me that the global governance is like considerably larger than the launch with Italy. Well, I, well but I, my concern is just if we did, let's say, yeah, code of conduct with the EU, that is still explicitly at odds with Russia and China's proposals, and all we're really doing is just doing something else to kind of. I, I just don't know what's big or controversial about kind of making a code of conduct that somebody we already mostly agree with in terms of how. Well, if it's like a multinational agreement with a bunch of allies that they might perceive in the same way that they perceive as like our NATO alliances, right? Except up in space. Well, the reason why the U.S. didn't right? sign on to the original one in 2011 is because Republicans in Congress wanted to have missile defense. And so we were like, no, that EU code of conduct is not good. Now, you may not think that's strong negative ground, but that is the reason why the U.S. hasn't signed on. So it is somewhat controversial in that the U.S. wants to be able to have more military action than the EU Code of Conduct allows. Like, that's the negative ground, is the U.S. is either going to have to convince those countries to let the U.S. do what it wants to do, or is going to have to cede some of the freedom that it wants to engage in, and then that's the debate. Because otherwise, you know, the old novice question of why hasn't your plan been met yet? Like why, why didn't we sign on the original? If, it's, if it wasn't controversial, the U.S. would have just bought in in 2011, but they didn't because they are like, oh, we want to have missile defense.
Was anyone who needed more time? Uh, yeah, we can talk about kind of food. Okay. Uh, so uh, there is, I think, good news on this front. There is, I think, some pretty good stuff at the science as well. The Johnson stuff that Dan already found and included in previous stuff is really good. Um, the listener chart at the top um, addresses a pretty, I think, smart concern that DCH had about whether NSP just kind of offers general guidelines or whether it actually attempts to kind of move towards implementation. Um, I think listener has a couple good things, both in this first card where it says it kind of includes guidelines for implementation, but then also the kind of card below that says that it kind of directs agencies in terms of how to incorporate that into what they do. Um, I think there's, I think good stuff that just kind of sets the floor for kind of what it is and what it has to include um, and with some intent to define. Um, I don't really have a whole lot else to say other than that, the cards themselves are pretty straightforward, but I felt okay about national state policy <coughs> on them. I feel pretty good now that it's all defined, it serves some purpose, and I don't think there's a downside to including the The only other thing is I found some cards that say that the state's policy in and of itself can be a TCVM. You know, it says transparent, it says this is what we're doing to other countries, um, you know, which can both be advantage arguments and disadvantage by saying what we'll do. Um, but, you know, it doesn't have, I mean, obviously if your uh, space policy is to, you know, attack another country or whatever, then it's not confidence building measure, but, so it depends on the nature of the space policy.
Well, yeah, in that second document, uh, but not all the cards I did before. You know, yeah, yeah, not yeah just the ones we did I recently. Did, yeah. His are at on the seven. DCH. <coughs> yeah, I sent the definitions here in the Dropbox. Yeah, folks can look at them. Uh, most restrictive interpretation of exploration is that it requires a human presence. Uh, There's some cards that support that. There are lots of other ones that say it's just trying to find stuff. Uh, the two most restrictive definitions of development are its commercial activity. Uh, and then second, this is more kind of written into uh, NASA statutes, it's the taking of research technology and taking it to the point where you can use it to do more stuff in space. Uh, and then <coughs> there are laundry list cards or something from the Japanese Space Agency that basically says exploration is everything. Uh, there's also a piece of evidence that says uh, exploration includes development. So it's probably the most expansive Wait, definition of the term. Sorry, I, I would like to look. Oh, sorry. Okay. Talking? Is it, you said it was in here? No, it should be there. It should be there now. Sorry. I just sent it a few yeah, minutes ago. I was it's making the formatting, not ugly. Right here. Here. Also there are, uh, and then uh, Hester has. Uh, you list the definitions. Mm -hmm. No, it, it's, and then there are a bunch of unlimiting ones, so it can include export, you know, the, it goes both ways. Uh, exploration is development, development is exploration. Development could also just mean getting access to space, so doing something like modifying Orion or changing how we get to space via private sector, like contracting and things like that, would probably fall under the umbrella of development. I don't think it's categories that are particularly limiting. Like, I didn't see a slam dunk. This is definitely what exploration or development is, and that would obviously exclude mining or <laughs> uh, asteroid defense, planetary defense, or weapons uses. Uh, most of those debates would probably come down to uh, Meg's complaining about the size of the potential topic. So it's kind of got to be able to keep the topic small without overwhelming definitional support. Is there one of Will's six, four, or five areas that he listed that it was said? It wouldn't include. I'm sorry, I was working on this one. So he said arms about. control weaponization. It might exclude that. Space situational awareness. Definitely exploration. Active debris removal. Definitely development. Energy. Definitely yes. development. And then planetary defense. Yeah, but development. Like it's most limiting is it would limit what the government role was okay. in that, or the you know other government's role. What does the what does it exclude? Not not. Okay. So I said not not yeah. a lot. Other yeah. than you okay. have words that you can say. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So it's uh, yeah like adding it to a list of areas is kind of like yeah it's just, yeah just the whole area. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it helps adding. Yeah. With okay. It. That's what I was thinking. I think it potentially helps some. What? Did you find this? I didn't. For development. I sent it to you. I'm not sure if it's not in space. No, I was. 
Yeah, that's also the other thing you can do. Yeah, like space science on Earth. Yeah, just like we're gonna share this telescope with China. Mm -hmm. yeah. so the space science on Earth. Yeah, they were they were bad. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So it doesn't exclude anything. <laughs> what? So it doesn't exclude anything. to say the, so if development broadly defined means render space so such that humans can gain some sort of benefit from it mm -hmm. it includes military activity the stuff that Mike had and that's kind of around the negotiation of the outer space treaty uh, you can underline those cards to say it's use of space for only peaceful purposes so there's an art the neg could make but they don't have like a intentionally exclusive definition of it, I don't think. It also seems like it excludes the thing that is least concerning about in terms of being negative. I almost have uh, areas to be done in like a couple minutes. So. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I guess certainly. I mean, <coughs> people can put up a fight on exploration means people. Okay. Means They're what? Mean ha means has to be people. Oh. No. They're doing the actual investigating. Mm -hmm. So. Just out of curiosity, what does that mean? Because like, we put up the SSA satellites. There are the people who I know. are going through the data. I know. I remember those discussions in lab on this topic in high school. I, I know. Because yeah. like. Um, I have some, there are two different variants, yeah, just uh, give me like two minutes and then I'll be gone. You're fine. Yeah. At least the preliminary version that we talked about. Right well, other people take off. Now that we know we feel good about national space policy, and, uh, what is it? How do we 
we put national space policy and global space governance together? I feel like Natalie or I is very happy with what we did. Like so, I guess the way that I'm thinking of it is like, Bush's national space policy broadly moved away from cooperation towards okay. unilateral development. Obama's moved towards international cooperation. I think he clarified that the goal or revised national space policy to declare the goal of the United States in promoting global space governance. You know, it is a pretty clear difference in steps, but it's just them defining global governance and how that works with the more. At least that's how I see it, Mitch. I don't know if I'm way off. I gotta think about it. I mean, because national the MSP is mostly like a statement of philosophical goals. So right. like the only like truthy concern I have is like in practice the app will not alter the status quo MSP dramatically. The NFP will still emphasize doing all the shitty things we do. Mm -hmm. Unless we, you know, do a different topic, but like you know, so well, it's like I'm, the app I'm far less concerned with, with, with that. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's your and Hester's sort of like extra T versus like are we excluding Oh like no no, no. this is just like in truth the app probably doesn't do the thing in amending the yeah. goal of the NSP or changing the goals of our space policy it just adds something that is in contrast to our current goals. I wrote the USFG so should matter. revise its NSP to include at least a substantial increase in international cooperation on global space governance plan. Makes sense. Yeah. So The USFG should revise its NSP okay. to include at least a substantial increase in international cooperation on global space governance. And then we add, you know, the areas. Piece of evidence said cooperation in international cooperation in the area of global space governance is one of, one of the. Yeah, that's what I found. There's it's literally one of six times in the entire internet that phrase appears, and so it's not like it, it is. It is there, and so that's different than maybe other propositions. But the, I don't think it's meaningful. So what about NSP to include an increase, or at least an increase in global space governance? Through or by or some preposition, international cooperation with. But also, it's not mean. It also just. Well, I think it does. It means something a little bit different than this ordering. I don't mean something, but in terms of it being a phrase, which is what Herndon had said, and people like the, there would be a phrase that is kind of in the literature that has a clear. Yeah, cooperation, collaboration, and then national space governance, end quotes. Tons of hits, yeah. lots yeah. of stuff, tons of articles, Scholar, Google, got, like, that's just that phrase. I don't know how much people are What about, what you say you're I was, in? mine is increase, you just flip them, so like increase maybe its global space governance, and then a preposition like, you know, through or by or whatever, uh, international cooperation. So like well, it, it, it world doesn't domination. Have yeah. <laughs> I think what you could. Well, I mean, but under, we do want our global space governance to increase, yeah. right? Like, it's not its weaponized I don't think so. It's not its government. Well, that's that's kind of well, that's so the issue, right? How does the U.S. US do the govern? Yes. They they can't, right? They have to. I, I don't understand how this flipping the, the U.S. do global governance. Like, what does that mean US for them to do that? It doesn't have a global governance. It maybe can strengthen a system of global governance. Right, um, closer, but saying increase its global governance does not make any meaningful sense to me. Uh, no, I agree. Is that that. I, I'm trying to its participation in I mean, I would have to look, but what about that? Or its its global governance participation or whatever. But that under that wording, it doesn't require the United States to like be perfect. They, they could incur like bribe a bunch of other countries to do global space. I like participation or something, but that's really what it is. Like, you say. But I did find one example that global space governance could be an anarchic system. It could be a 
Uh, well, I mean, it, it, it can be bi-directional, right? I mean, they could just say, we want to cooperate or everybody does their own thing. It's all for commercial. It's not for commercial, right? I mean, it doesn't limit what you do. Am I wrong about that? Your governance regime could be kind of like, yeah, private companies have a lot of leeway and you recognize property rights and something like that. We're, we're doing a government regime that says we're going to mil- we want space to be mil- or weaponized, right? In theory, yeah. Okay, I'm just asking. I, just, I want to be clear because this is a custom. I'm not arguing. I'm just kind of That's why I like the phrasing, even though this only showed up, I think, in one piece of evidence that was in order to provide a, a kind of limit on what that governance looks like, because you're correct, governance does not inherently mean anything. It could be governance of chaos or governance of military, whatever. Governance of international cooperation is the phrase that was meaningfully used in at least one United Nations. It's in the UN, UN COP US 16 evidence. And so that's two then. Two. Global space governance refers primarily to the institutional framework for governance of international yeah. cooperation in using outer space for peaceful purposes. And so I kind of like that because it does direct governance towards a specific end versus... Yes, uh, that's what I was thinking I, about, kind of firming that with what... So that's, that actually through. gets rid of a lot of the, like, Established rules of the road for subsequent unilateral actions. Perhaps. But what are you saying? Uh, like, for example, is like helium three mining. Like you can't regulate that anymore because that's not that is by itself is not cooperative. Because it's as it is now, it's like just do a governance thing, cooperate to you know in the area of governance or something like that. The UN workshop on space sixteen evidence says global space governance refers to quote the international action or process of governing or regulating space-related affairs or activities, end quote. So if you take that phrase, and any time you see global space governance, throw in the international action or process of governing or regulating space-related affairs or activities, it might help you understand how to put it in the What do we have to do cooperation with, like, in support of that, yeah. or in the direction of that? Or well, what if you did, I know this rewords things slightly, yeah. But what if you tried that out? No, I'll just let it get this. I know it's hard to detect in this, okay. but if you did the USFG should increase its international space cooperation by yeah. revising its national space policy to substantially increase its participation in multilateral global space governance. You know you're, you're going to get rid of multilateral. Yeah. What's up? Or is that so redundant? It's not redundant there, but that is good. Like, yeah. Well, the, 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 the it's question not redundant. There was the concern earlier that multilateral was too limiting. Oh, like bi versus bilateral. Right. I think your your idea is you have to work with the first half. So if you do part, then the, as long as you meet the second half, is you the resolution right saying you yeah. get the first half? I'm sorry. You like for if you do. So like, if you need to do A by B, do you need to prove that you're both or just B to be doubtful? I'm going to get this at least very quick. But that was, but that was by. So, at least by curious. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of plans, right like actual actions. Um, it would be it would be global space governance that wouldn't be international space cooperation or international cooperation. By the way, I read that executive summary and I feel just as strongly as before that I'm sure this makes no sense, but I'll just go with it. Yeah. Um, I um, guess. So you're saying that it would entail cooperation? Is that I'm saying, can someone that? give me an example of something that's topical under global, whatever your interpretation of global space governance is, that is not international cooperation? I mean, I just read the executive summary, all it, 46 pages of it, and everything that it's talking about seems, to, I'm, I'm answering his question with yes, if you are global space governance, then you are international. I'm not saying that's why. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think that, that there's a lot of examples in the card that I sent out down at the bottom where, in terms of global space governance, the United States has been largely libertarian or we've been largely free for all commons and whoever gets it and first one there gets it and mm-hmm. anarchic and non cooperative in terms of our approach. And so it actually literally compares it to the law of the sea and says the law of the sea treaty has been incredibly cooperative and, yeah. the, law, and the law of space has been non cooperative. Okay. Yeah. My problem with the buy thing. My language is stronger than that, but it does it does use the word. Anarchy. Is that in Natalie and Herndon? The first one that I did. The Herndon um, down at the bottom. It's like some examples of global space governance. There, yeah, sure. So, in this the resolution you just typed, the everything before the buy doesn't matter, right? Because. 
where we've implicitly said that everything that follows it is an example of the first piece. Yeah. So we wouldn't. Why wouldn't we just start at the OSFG should revise? Uh, so the OSFG should revise its national trade policy to substantially increase. Like with the resolution thing. Yeah. It's a nonsense statement if there's any possibility to meet the first part, the second part, and not the first part. So just for clarity, you would just take what I have highlighted here and replace it with. Well, you'd start, yeah. yeah. One or the other has to be there. Yeah. And then if we're comfortable with that, then sure, but bigger. It feels bigger even though it's not. But I mean, Hester, with your question, like, why are we using this phrase instead of international cooperation? No, 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 no. no. I, was, I was just wondering. I, didn't I was know. just inter. I was just commenting I on Miles' question of. I just think global space, global space governance is just all of the sets of the laws that I do agree. it, and we have been very non-cooperative in it. And this paper, this topic, calls for the act to defend being cooperative. About it. Yeah. So when I was searching for a space policy, there had there were some terms about space law, maybe because this is what it seems like it's international law, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. And so maybe that might be a way to get access to it that you know make sure space law is compliant with global whatever. I think that's the idea, right? Is that correct me if I'm wrong? Is the U.S. is trying to like be part of this global governance? Or are we directing it? I think it we're in, what I read and understood is basically governance the framework is just a you know, conglomerate collection of all the independent national space law, the United States being the lion's share of all of that. Like, global governance is just a re reflection of whatever domestic, quote, national space law or national space legislation were the terms that I found that the United States has domestically enacted. And so, I don't know if that answers your. <laughs> is there any difference between saying like increased if participation in global space governance versus like increase of support of? Does that make any practical difference? So I was trying to figure out just from trying to draft the resolution wording how to play that out. Can you ask it the beginning part? Yeah. So for this one, yeah. if you were to say, um, would you say increased if participation in global space government or increased if support of global? Sure. What do either of those things mean? Mm -hmm. I, I just say strengthen global space governance. What does that mean? I don't, I don't Am I? That's what they're saying. Yeah. I just, we're suddenly, I feel like we're, we're adding a lot of words that. What's the verb of global space governance? It just seems like we're invoking a list of things that we understand as global space. Is there like a, a common verb or action that is recommended when states do this thing? Yeah. Um, Or is, is it, it participate like in, lead, uh, or is it just yeah, over contribute that? to, establish? Strengthen, but that's not good for a resolution. Or for the U.S. also can't. And, and it's not necessarily strengthen <laughs> always because it doesn't. It's not one. Like, there's not one. Yeah, I'm just saying that's like, the end point that's the of global space governance. Because we could theoretically like, if the we could weaken it. By, by changing our approach to it as well. Because I guess I, sorry, I keep going back to the same example because it helped me kind of think through it. So like that Whedon article was like the U.S. should set up an international code of conduct. Right now, uh, Europe was trying to do it, but the U.S. just kind of backed out and didn't support it all, and then Russia trying to do their thing, and then yeah. it's gone. So it's like if the U.S. were to get more involved, so what does that involvement then look like? Like is it increasing participation or is it just doing more cooperation over global space governments. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to figure it out. So I think if I were Neg putting together a set of T stuff, I would go to the original work we did that Adrian was like, go back and read my definitions of international cooperation and the cards about space. I think the strength of those cards were the way they just defined cooperation it was really good and some of the space. So I do think we should include that. So international okay. cooperation, you know, sets up a, a certain Parameter to give us like relation stuff, and like Maggie reminded us, this is the cooperation. So, there, now, global space governance that's that UN card that I had. Up. Yeah, like 
there are better cards, but that one's kind of the shortest. Like here's the bullet point of the five things that are kind of like the areas where we establish space law. So it's got to be cooperative with those. And then the beginning phrase in NSP allows it to be slightly broader than that if you want to. So so in this case, then the verb would be increase its cooperation, and then there would be a transition phrase like over global governance or something like that. It wouldn't be. Yeah, and so the file that I sent out was yeah. like on, concerning, about, gotcha. or, or for. Mm -hmm. um, so here, and revise is still being worked on, but I, but you all suggest we were good with NSP, but the United States federal government should revise its NSP in sentence. Kind of like allows some flexibility to make sure that the solvency advocates that we're concerned about her, and, and then at least including an offer to substantially increase its international cooperation. Well, my concern is where does this fit in? Like, I'm actually happy with at least including an offer to substantially increase its international space cooperation with one or more of the following countries. I think that's great. But where does this go in? So you could have like um, kind of like a preparatory clause, like in the area of global space governance, comma the United States federal government. I mean, we don't do that usually, but like it would work. So that, that goes back to the card you found. I guess the area the thing, but yeah. The area yeah. Of, I mean, that, there's at least evidence for that, even if it's. <laughs> I know. I get. I get what you're saying. Trust me. No, you're right. Yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> I'm not. And it was. And it was a conference. Global space governance. You know? United Nations. Yeah. I feel like it's a negative produces, you know, in terms of the limiter, the limiting function, um, you know, T debate's pretty basic these days, honestly. Uh, <laughs> usually it's like, is the FT? Uh, no, or yeah, you know. Um, but, you know, it's like, I think it has some good cards on like global <laughs> space governance. No, trust me, we read a lot of apps that are at the margin of the topic, and those are 50% of the decisions at least. Um, and, you know, it's like, so if Nick produces cards on the global space governance that are, like, decent, I think I feel like it's like, oh, well, that says in the area of not, you know, like, on global space governance. Yeah. Clarman is the only judge here who's going to be like, yep, like, it said in the area. It's not about the, the definition you've got, or it says on global space governance. Even I wouldn't enforce that one, fine. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Let's think about this. Let's tell ourselves to some pizza. Well, yeah, oh, I sent an area paper. Do you want to do that or do you want to take a little break? And okay. I can't break. I think we already said people to read your area paper. Yeah, we can send out oh, the break. break. Oh. You might have to read.